Hi, I'm Marie Eldridge. I'm an educator in the Handy Quilter Studio. And today, this is the big Swiss cheese. These are different sizes than the ones that are on the smaller Swiss cheese. So this has circles that are a half inch, one and three quarter inch, and two and a quarter inch. And there are so many ways to use this ruler. I don't know if you can have enough circle rulers. So first I'm just going to just show you on this sampler some of the things that you can do, some designs. So I started with just the circle. So when you do the circle, you of course go around one and then a half and then you travel. So then you get to the next one. But you can see I have some different shapes here. So I just use templates that I have, the other templates that I have. You can just add to it handy quilters. Other uh, circle rulers work great. To just add just different designs, you can add to the top, to the bottom, or not to both. This row, you can see, this is that little teeny half inch, and it's just inside of there. And I did my straight line first, and then came back. So I'm gonna show you on the little one how to do that. So first I'll get my needle started. This one has the gap that you have to put your ruler through the gap. So you have to have your hopping foot up. And I'm using the sure foot this time. You can use the sure foot or you can use your ruler foot. And I also, because I'm doing circles, I have the handy grip again. So first of all, I get my hopping foot set where I want it. And then I'm going to line up. You'll find that the big ch Swiss cheese has a lot of grid lines on it that are not on the other Swiss cheese. So this one you can line up and get exactly down the center of the circle. I'm just going to press down. I'm going to go around once and then halfway. So go around the circle one time and then go halfway again and then travel to the next one. So there's my first one as I go along and decide where I want the next one. Again, I can just line up, put those grid lines on my stitch line, and I'm going to go around, and then a half, and then I can just travel again. So you can space those circles evenly, or you can space them at different, and I love how it looks. This one over here, I added some half circles, and I added some triangles. So this row here that I added with it, the inside is very perfect. That's done with the ruler. The outside, I just came along and bounced around across. I like the difference. This one looks very perfect. This one to me is more organic and I'm okay with the look of that. And then down here, this is to swirl in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we'll just line up. I'm going to get my ruler started. And I can do this with my template still in place. So first I get my hopping foot set, get it tied off. Then I'm going to bring my template in, line it up so that I'm right in the center on that center line. Okay. And then I'm just going to go around once. And then once I've completed that first circle, then I'm going to swirl into the center, leaving myself room to come back out. And then I want to end on this side so that I can travel some more. So I'll just slide that ruler over and then I can use the ruler to kind of help me along or I can just go by myself. So there's some things, lots of things you can do with the circle. If you're not very good at feathers or you don't feel very good about your feathers, you can add berries and leaves, put those on a vine. I just added a couple of those in the center. I always like circles inside of a channel. So over here, I've got a channel that is a circle or a half circle and put those little half circles inside there. It works perfect. Here's the difference of doing them inside a uh, straight channels. 
The thing I like about this is it has those grid lines on it so you can line up on your channels that you've made. And then as you go forward and keep doing your circles, you can keep your grid lines lined up with your stitch line. And finally, this one down here is just this half of this circle. So it's this one here. And then just add to the outside any kind of a fill and it makes that circle pop up. So there's so many things that you can do with this big Swiss cheese. I really like this Swiss cheese. I really like all the things that you can do with it. So good luck and have lots of fun coming up with different ideas.